What is good YouTube? It is your boy, Zach Zyther, checking in for what seems to be a new installment on the channel, and today we are going to do the long-awaited Q&A video. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best to spend a little, a small amount of time on each individual question. Um, we don't want to be sitting here for a half hour or anything like that, and I have a lot of questions on here I want to get through, so there will be some of the questions, of course, that I spend a little bit more time on, questions that need me to go further in depth, and that sort of a thing, so without further ado... Let us get started. So, Zach, how do you feel when you see 86,000 subscribers on your channel? I feel very accomplished. Um, in all honesty, you know, it's one of those things. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Now I have a lot of goals and ambitions for this channel. I want to continue to grow. Um, my main goal for this year in terms of YouTube was to hit 100,000 subscribers, and I have not did that just yet. However, the way things are going, um, I feel like that goal is definitely achievable if I continue doing what I am doing so thank you for your question what does your training look like now what do you work on what day let's see Monday is chest day Tuesday is leg day Wednesday is back day Thursday is my second leg day Friday is my second chest day Saturday is my third leg day and Sunday is my second back day hi mate can I know how much time it took for you to start seeing changes in your body um, because you have done a really hard job there from a skinny guy and plus don't forget you survived from cancer I did not start seeing results until I was about a year into training. And I've heard other people say this, and I completely agree with it. If you cannot spend at least a year um, training extremely hard, you know, bettering yourself in nutrition and whatnot, you aren't going to see results. Don't fall into the fad where you are going to get results in weeks. It, it is not realistic. Of course, you may have beginner gains and that sort of a thing. But if you don't have a, a year to see gains, then don't start this shit. How do you motivate yourself to work out hard? For me personally, I have an ideal goal physique that I want to achieve and I understand the fact that the only way I will end up getting there is if I continue to work out hard, um, continue to follow my type of program that I have set up for myself, and just be patient with my results. Yo, Zach, my brother from another mother. How do you keep your face so smooth like a baby's bottom? Do you grow facial hair? If so, show us the shaving process. Your boy, AJ. Um... Genetics play a role in that. I'm not that hairy to begin with. Right now I'm looking pretty baby faced because I just shaved, um, actually today, a few hours ago. And my only suggestion to you, um, I have a couple of suggestions, but I'll just give you a few because I don't want to give you guys all my secrets. But I use an electric shaver all the time. I never use a razor on my face. I think that helps with the smoothness. I don't break out whatsoever. Um, also, before bed at nighttime, um, make sure you don't have any oil on your face as well as use dial soap Rub it on there rinse it and then go to bed like that. I promise you you have a baby face in no time like me What is your cardio routine when bulking and cutting? I don't do cardio How often do you drink alcohol or do you drink at all? What's your opinion on drinking and working out? I went my entire life up until the point where I was 20 and I did not drink alcohol, not even a drip. I didn't give in to peer pressure. All of my friends, you know, trying to peer pressure me into it. It just wasn't my thing. And even when I did drink when I'm 20, I've only drank a handful of times. And the only time I do it is with my girlfriend, in all honesty. And it's just something I personally don't find that fun. It's not that appealing to me. Um, alcohol is obviously a depressant. It slows the majority of the bodily functions as well as probably protein synthesis. I mean, I don't, I don't know the science aspect or anything like that, but if it's a depressant, it's probably going to slow down your gains um, once in a while. Of course, it's probably not that big of a deal, but if you're drinking every single weekend, um, I'm sure it's going to take away eventually somewhat. Did doctors prescribe you testosterone for steroids after your cancer survival? No, I was not given any testosterone, human growth hormone, or any type of anabolic steroids as a result of my treatments. I have an actual video on here on my channel if you guys want to check that out and see um, what I was given. Is it possible to be 5% body fat naturally? Absolutely. Of course, it's going to depend on your genetics. Um, some of us have no problem making lean gains year-round. However, some people struggle to... Um, lose weight and so staying 5% naturally is probably very difficult for many people. It's all a matter of genetics, nutrition, as well as how hard you're training, maybe even the implementation of different amounts of cardio. What to do for weak body parts? 
Um, obviously, train more often if you're increasing more volume as well as frequency of a specific body part that you are training. You are going to see greater results, in my opinion. Of course, we all have weak points. All We all have things that we're trying to progress on. I personally have my legs. They are a weak point, and so I am training them with greater frequency at three times a week. How to develop a nice chest if you can't do the bench press. Dumbbells. What are your plans for your YouTube channel? Um, I kind of answered this. I would like to continue to grow and um, continue to upload quality content to you guys in the future. Are there any other YouTubers that you would like to make your channel content similar to? There are hundreds of fitness channels out there, however. I would like to keep mine fairly um, original. I want to have my own specific types of content. I want to continue to help as many people as possible, whether that's giving out training advice, nutrition advice, motivational types type of um, videos and stuff like that, but really it's a matter of staying consistent, consistent, gosh yeah, consistent and just uploading frequently and just continuing to grow. Here's a question, because of your body, do women throw themselves at you often? Um, since I've started lifting, definitely girls are hitting on me much more often, um, but not only that, but guys do too, I mean guys notice your physique a lot more than girls do and I think that's more the fact that guys understand what it takes to build the physique itself. So I get some disgusting messages on Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter, everything, direct messages. I get a lot of video messages, picture messages of some disgusting stuff from both men and women. Um, some of it I would never even feel comfortable telling you guys about because of how gross they are. But um, yeah, I would say women... I, I don't know if I'd say throw themselves at me, but they definitely are more flirtatious. Um, just the other day, I got complimented by an older woman. She um, she was selling me my Jurassic World, Lego Jurassic World video game, and she was like, you're buying a Lego game with a body like that? Well, I guess there could be worse things you were doing. I don't know, but she's, she said something that I could tell she was like flirting with me, and she was complimenting me. So that's something that I experience at times. I would just love to know how you put lean mass in order to build muscle. Um, I have answered this before. Yes, I have videos of this on my channel about making lean gains. Um, basically, I am a big believer for myself personally in going just over my maintenance calories. You talked about in one of your videos that your arms tend to take over on back day. I'm having the same problem. How do you fix this issue? For me personally, the utilization of straps, um, lifting straps on exercises such as the deadlift, lat pull downs, different types of rows. When I wear straps, I can feel more activation in my lats as well as my traps. My rhomboids can come into play. And for me personally, my biceps stop taking over on many of the rowing movements and that sort of a thing. So... That would be my suggestion to you is to try out some lifting straps. Thank you for your question. Does your rat tail make you stronger? Absolutely, it fucking makes me stronger. What is your opinion on push-pull leg versus one body part workout splits? Um, of course, this is very much individualized as well as um, based upon what your goals are. For me personally, I am trying to build my physique. I am not trying to get, you know, to be the strongest person on the entire planet. Um... By individually hitting one body part or targeting one body part per workout session, for me personally, it's all about isolation. Um, that allows me to build muscle in a way that a push-pull leg routine would not allow me to. In a push-pull leg split, it's perfect for gaining um, muscle as well as strength. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but a push-pull leg doesn't allow for as much isolation. So if you were trying to build muscle over strength, I would definitely... Um, I'll tell you to go about um, breaking up your workouts and separating each individual body part for each day that you want to work out. I know that was pretty sucky, but hopefully that helps. <laughs> this is a good question. Do you ever get recognized in the gym or in public? If so, how often? In the gym, it happens at least weekly. I promise you it happens on a weekly basis at least. Um, outside of the gym, in public, it has only happened on a couple of different occasions um one occasion being that the there was like a group of kids looking at me while I was in the mall one of my local malls and they didn't come over and say hi to me or anything but as I left the mall I saw a comment on my Instagram they were like well we just saw this dude in the mall or whatever we didn't go up and say anything to him I don't know and it's just stuff like that if you guys ever see me in public please come up and say hi or if you see me in the gym 
maybe not while I'm doing a set, but in between sets or something like that, come up and be like, hey, I watch you on YouTube, please, if you're watching this video, because I really, I want to know the people that watch my videos, I want to know if you're subscribed to me, and if you actually know me in person, um, there's a lot of people around my area who follow me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, and I see them in person, and they look at me like they've never seen me before in my life, so that's pretty common, but um, yeah. Do you have any plans for a sponsorship and what motivates you to stay consistent in your workouts? Um, I am not looking for a sponsor sponsorship per se. I am much more patient. I would say that I'm waiting for the right sponsorship to come and find me. I'm waiting for it to fall into place. I personally have my own type of um, goal set in terms of my own personal business and establishing myself as a brand. And so I would really like to do that and crack down on that before I start worrying about things like working for someone else under a sponsorship. So um, who knows what the future may br may bring. Um, again, I've kind of answered this, I think, already. Um, what motivates me to stay consistent in my workouts? Definitely the long-term goal. Just seeing what I want at the end of the tunnel and working towards that and always striving for more, setting, a, setting smaller goals along the way. I'm just a person who, once I get something in my mind, I'm not going to stop until I get to where I want to be. So, Do you play basketball? I always see you wearing Jordan stuff, but do you play? And who's your favorite player? I used to play throughout um, middle school and high school. I used to be obsessed with basketball, to be honest with you. But my favorite player of all time is definitely Vince Carter. Have you ever injured yourself? Since you started to work out, if so, how was recovery? I have not injured myself yet, knock on wood. Um, and I think that's just because I don't take risks in the gym that I feel I'm going to injure myself or anything like that. So, no injuries just yet. Hey, Zach, do you have any suggestions on how to increase deadlifts? I'm stuck at 335. All right, so implement different amounts of volume. If you're hitting a plateau in a certain exercise, besides it just being the deadlifts, whether it's bench press, squats, Implement different amounts of volume. Um, maybe try some rack pulls for a few weeks and <clears throat> decrease your range of motion. If you're following a specific routine, maybe break away from that and try something new. That would be my biggest suggestion. Why don't you hop on the sponsor train for more success like other fitness guys? Well, I would like to remain independent. You know, if I ever do join a major company or something like that, I will remain myself. Um, I'm going to bring my own package to the table, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm, you know, conforming or anything like that. Um, so, who knows what the future will bring. Will you ever select random subscribers to train? If a subscriber comes up to me and says, hey, Zach, can we train sometime? Um, I would have no problem recording a video with them, you know, as long as it's not, like, multiple thousands of videos just every so often I have no problem with doing that and I have did it in the past already quite a few times can we ever have more personal videos on your day-to-day -day life if that's something you guys are interested in seeing then by all means I will see what I can do about that you stay very lean year-round is it healthy or rather is it unhealthy that's a matter of opinion for me personally I have no problem being lean year-round it's something um, it's something that I've been my entire life I've always been really lean whether it's unhealthy, I have no idea. And then you ask, how is your energy mood sex drive? Please answer this question. I would say my energy levels are absolutely perfect and stupendous. I'd say they're too high, if anything. My mood, I am I tend to be pretty happy all the time. You know, I'm. it takes a lot to make me mad, actually. Um, and my sex drive, I would definitely say, is also um, probably a little bit too high, if anything, through the roof, so... We're good on that. How do you fix muscle imbalances and do you have any muscle imbalances? I do, but I'm not going to tell you guys where they are because then you guys will notice them 24-7. But the way to fix them is with, uh, how do I say this, isolateral movements or basically dumbbell movements as well. Anything where you are doing one arm at a time or one leg at a time, that is the best way to fix a muscular imbalance. Did you go to Ida? Yes, I currently live in Ida, and I graduated from Ida High School. Which body type do you classify yourself? I would definitely say an ectomorph. You ask which of these do I think has the best advantage for an aesthetic look. I think that all of these body types have an equal um, chance at looking aesthetic. I mean, they all have their own advantages, and they all have their own disadvantages, so that's a matter of opinion. How do you keep so calm while your brother is acting annoying to you? Years of practice. How did you and Tara meet? Tara and I met on a band, a high school band trip. 
going to England. And I was a freshman, she was a sophomore. We did not know each other previously, even though we went to the same school, we had never known, um, been introduced to each other or anything like that. So we basically met in England on that um, band trip. When will you have your knighting ceremony where I cut off my braid? I was thinking possibly for the new Star Wars movie in December. I was possibly thinking about cutting it off, but I am unsure. No promises, you guys. 18 likes on this one. I know you no longer work out on biceps anymore, but when you did, how often did you? Well, when I wanted my biceps to grow, and I mean when I really wanted them to grow, I would train them anywhere from three to four times a week. Um, and what did you do to get your arms so massive? You cannot forget triceps. I honestly think my triceps are greater developed than my biceps even. It's just that my biceps are so, um, my biceps, my biceps insertions are so great that that's the first place that people will look on my specific physique. But if you want big arms, you got to focus a lot on tricep movements as well. How do you think you will look five years from now? Um, even more cut, 50 pounds heavier. Tell me on a side note whenever I see a comment on Facebook. All right, yeah, um, five years from now, you know, this is a hard question because I don't know what's realistic. I don't know what is achievable naturally for me personally. However, I do have goals. Um, one goal that I have specifically, whether it's achievable or not, is to get 200, and pound, 200, and pounds, 200 pounds lean. That is a goal that I have, and whether or not I'm going to be able to do that, um, I don't think it's possible in five years. I'm thinking somewhere maybe 10 to 15 years um, I will be this close to my goal physique and I'm willing to wait that long because I'm very patient and I am very willing to continue working my ass off over the next few years but in five years um, I can guarantee you that I'm going to be bringing up my weak points much more I'm going to have um, I'm going to continue to build the quality muscle and continue to just bring up my weak points as I said overall so um, I'll gain a few more pounds However, don't expect me to just blow up all of a sudden because that's not, not going to happen.